thing to say. See, sometimes church folks takes take leaders for granted. But this one time, they probably were doing this for a little while. But this one time, Peter said, hey, 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 how much you sell this for? Is this what you sell it for? Oh, yes, Peter. Peter said, why did you lie to the Holy Ghost? You didn't lie to me. They thought they were lying to Peter. They probably lied before. But this time the Holy Ghost was falling. <laughs> How? I want to tell you, young ladies sitting looking at me, integrity counts. Come on. Integrity counts. In everything you do, you're working in the store. Integrity. If someone give you more money than you're supposed to get, check it again. And if it's more, leave it back. God ain't blessing you with that. So you don't put it on the side. No, integrity. I want to tell you, integrity will give you power. You know why? People will trust you. You can't be in the front of the apostle or the pastor or whomever. I love you so much. God bless you so much. And then when you go in another circle, what you do? Talk down. Huh? You tear them down. You know what you call that? Hypocrisy. You don't have any integrity. And people are noticing that. And they know if you do it to Susie, you do it to, uh oh, that's her name, Susie. If you do it to her, you do it to me. Come on, people. Let's be people of integrity. Listen what James 3.10 says. Out of the same mouth cannot come blessing and cursing. If not, you know what they call it? Skip. Can't be. It can't be. Out of the same mouth cannot come blessing and cursing. And he said, these things, my brothers or my sisters, should not be in this way. For we have a moral obligation to speak in a manner of integrity. So you can't be looking at pastor and say, God bless you, and then go over there and say, I hate his guts. Hypocrisy. That is not integrity. 